OpenAI 连续十二天发布会的第十天，今天的发布啊，让人有点小期待了，因为在他们的推特上只给出了一个电话的图标。好，马上开始。Hey everybody, welcome to day ten. I'm Kevin Wheel and I lead product for OpenAI. The, the mission of OpenAI is to make artificial general intelligence beneficial to all of humanity, and part of that is making it as accessible as possible to as many people as we can. So even though we have people on pro mode, you know, our pro users doing super sophisticated things on our most、uh, advanced models, we also make it possible to come to ChatGPT for free and sign up and use the product without even having an account. So we launched ChatGPT originally on the web about two years ago. We brought it to iOS and Android about six months later, and more recently have launched apps on、uh, Mac and Windows. Today we're taking the next step. And bringing ChatGPT to your telephone. So before we get into that, though, I want you to do one thing for me. We've been up here ten days in a row, bringing you live streams every day, and we haven't asked you anything. So now I'm asking you for one thing, which is I want you to add ChatGPT to your contacts. So go to your phone, go to your contacts app. The name is ChatGPT, and the number is one eight hundred ChatGPT. 1-800 ChatGPT. What's what's the number? That's 1-800-242-8478. I, I didn't hear him. What is, what's the number? It's 1-800-242-8478. 1-800-242-8478. 1-800 ChatGPT. Go add it to your contacts now. Trust me, it's going to make this、uh, demo a whole lot more fun. So let's dive in. Hey everyone, my name is Amadou. I'm an engineer here at OpenAI. And I'm Antonia. I'm a product manager here at OpenAI. As Kevin said, we care a lot about continuing to reduce barriers for more people to try out AI and see what it can do for them. And we're really excited that today we're bringing ChatGPT to you through two familiar channels: calling and WhatsApp. If you're in the U.S. right now, you can call 1-800 ChatGPT to talk Wait, to ChatGPT by voice. What number is that? That's 1-800-242-8478. Ah, thank you. Okay. And if you're anywhere in the world, you can also message ChatGPT on WhatsApp. And this is something you can do right now during this demo. You don't have to wait till the end. Let's show you how it works. Great. So ChatGPT is great, but if you don't have a consistent data connection,、um, you might not have the best、uh, connection. And so, if you have a phone line, you can jump right into that experience. So I'm going to grab an iPhone and I'll open up my contacts. So you can see I have all my contacts in here, and as Kevin mentioned, I have 1-800 ChatGPT. Oh, you have the, the number、bottom. there. Yep, and I have the number 1-800-242-8478, and I'm going to click into that. Hello again. It's ChatGPT, an AI system. Our conversation may be reviewed for safety. How can I help you? Hey, Chat. I'm on a road trip with Kevin and Antonia, and we're on the 280 highway between San Jose and San Francisco. And there's this really colorful house with domes that we're curious if you can help us figure out what it is. Oh, I think I know what you're talking about. Those sound like the famous Flintstone House in Hillsboro near San Francisco. It's known for its unique, colorful dome-shaped architecture, and sometimes called the Flintstone House because it looks like it's straight out of the cartoon. Cool sight to see on a road trip. Yeah, it's very cool. That's got to be it. Yeah, it's cool, but are people allowed to build houses like that anymore? Yeah, it's pretty wild, right? <laughs> Generally, as long as the structure meets local building codes and zoning laws, and doesn't violate any homeowners association rules, people have a lot of creative freedom in how they design their homes.、Huh. The Flintstone House is a good example of some out there architecture that's still within the rules. It definitely stands out. Gives you some、uh, some thoughts about your own place. <laughs> yeah, exactly. So、uh, thanks, Chat.、Uh, we'll take that in consideration, and maybe we'll be building a Flintstone house soon. Awesome. So that's ChatGPT on an iPhone from the car. But what if you don't have an iPhone? I recently went home and I found this old phone. Is that like a foldable iPod? <laughs> It is a state-of-the-art flip phone from some years ago. Do you think I can call ChatGPT with this? I have no idea. Let's give it a shot. Let's try it. Okay. So I'm going to dial. One eight hundred. One eight hundred. Two four two. Two four two. Eight four seven eight. Eight four seven eight. And I want to ask it for some language help. Hello again. 
It's ChatGPT, an AI assistant. Our conversation may be reviewed for safety. How can I help you? Hey Chat, I met my friend's grandmother's house, but her grandmother only speaks Spanish. Can you teach me how to say, hello, it's such a pleasure to finally meet you, in Spanish? Sure, you can say, hola, es un placer finalmente conocerte. Give it a try. Hola, es un placer finalmente conocerte. How's that? Perfecto, that sounds great. You're all set to impress your friend's grandmother. Gracias. All right, that was cool. I haven't seen one of those in a while. But you know what? I'm going to take your flip phone and I'm going to raise you a rotary phone. <laughs> I don't think I've ever used one of these before, actually. Uh, but do you think I can call ChatGPT on this? Let's give it a go. All right. I mean, this works like, you know, half the time in practice. So let's see if it, we can do it. Uh, what's the number again? That number is 1-800-242-8478. OK, let's see. All right, one, eight, hundred, two, four, two, eight, four, seven, eight. I can't believe we used to use these things. Hello again, it's ChatGPT, an AI assistant. Our conversation may be reviewed for safety. How can I help you? Hey Chat, can you explain reinforcement fine tuning to me as if I were five years old? Sure. Imagine you have a robot friend, and you want to teach it to clean up your room. You give it a treat every time it does a good job. That's reinforcement fine-tuning. The robot learns to do better by getting rewards. Awesome. Just like All right. Thanks so much, chat. So I guess you can even call ChatGPT on a rotary phone. Awesome. So that is calling with ChatGPT. And again, if you have a US phone number, you can get 15 minutes of free calling per month with ChatGPT. Download our app and create an account if you want to talk for even longer. But we have one more thing to show you today, and that is ChatGPT on WhatsApp. So let me go ahead and get this phone, and I'm going to start a WhatsApp conversation with ChatGPT. The three of us were planning to make dinner tonight, but we haven't figured out what we want to make. So is that 1-800-ChATGPT in your contacts? It is in my contacts, and I can just Amazing. tap it to start a WhatsApp conversation. And I am going to. Ask it for maybe a pesto recipe for tonight. Okay, that sounds good. Hey, chat, can you give me a recipe for pasta with pesto tonight? I'll fire that off to ChatGPT, and we'll see what it says. And that gets sent off. It's running the 4.0 mini model, and it begins generating the response. And as soon as it has a message, it will send that, and it will continue sending messages until it's, it's completed. Awesome. So it has come back with a simple and delicious pesto recipe. Uh, it's given me the ingredients, some fresh basil leaves, some pine nuts, some garlic cloves, some Parmesan cheese. And then it also tells me what I need for the pasta. And then it gives me some instructions for how to make the pesto, how to cook the pasta, and how to combine them into a final dish and serve. That sounds pretty good to me. What do you think? You know, that sounds pretty good. But right now, in this moment, I decided I'm going to become vegan. So I would love to see if we could update it to satisfy that. That was a life decision you made on this live stream. Yeah, right now with, okay. e with everyone here. <laughs> OK, uh, I think ChatGPT can do that. Yeah. So let's say I need you to update the recipe to be vegan. Let's see what it says. And actually, it's interesting. It looks like it already had anticipated right. um, that I might need some me. different options. So now it'll give me the full recipe. Cool. OK. It is back, and it is telling me that for the vegan pesto, we are going to swap out nutritional yeast for the Parmesan. And it again gives me a set of ingredients and some instructions for how to make it. What do you think? I mean, five minutes ago, that sounded good. But I actually just decided that I will only eat meat now <laughs> oh. as of this live stream. So is there something we could do for me? Uh, sure, let's let's try that. So I'll say Kevin only eats meat. What can we make for him? And while that's going off, if you scan this QR code, okay. look at that. If you take out your camera and scan that, it will drop you directly into the WhatsApp experience. And uh, now we have a response. So if Kevin only eats meat, 
we can prepare a hearty meat-based dish to complement our vegan pesto. And it's suggesting some grilled or pan-seared chicken, some steak with garlic butter, some meatballs and marinara sauce, some grilled sausages, or some bacon-wrapped chicken or pork. <laughs> All right, thank you for accommodating my last minute life change. <laughs> well, it, it was all ChatGPT. Um, one other thing to call out with this, so right now this is a text-based conversation only. You can talk to it without needing an account. Uh, we're working on ways down the road for you to be able to also authenticate with your ChatGPT account, and that's how you'd be able to access additional features like chatting with images or search. For now, those features are just available on our mobile app and on our website. All right. We're just getting started making ChatGPT more accessible to all of you. So uh, just to recap, today you can, if you're in the US, you can call ChatGPT. You can also globally message ChatGPT on WhatsApp. And I just want to give a shout out to the team. This came out of a Hack Week project. Uh, team built this just a few weeks ago and we loved it. And uh, they hustled really hard to ship it. And it's awesome to see it here. So uh, before we go, just remember, add ChatGPT to your contacts. That's 1-800-CHAT-GPT. What's, what's the number again? That's 1-800-242-8478. All right. Thanks so much. Hope you enjoy. We'll see you tomorrow. OK, you can directly talk to ChatGPT and ChatGPT. You don't need to use the internet or the ChatGPT account. At the moment, it's in the United States. Of course, other people can use WhatsApp to send ChatGPT to the internet to send the internet to the internet. 这样确实在很大程度上可以扩大 OpenAI、扩大 ChatGPT 的用户群，但是总觉得 OpenAI 是不是还有更大的目的呢？你们觉得呢？好，今天就到这里，咱们明天再见。